Okay, so this is the statement. Nepali daughters has stereotypical cultural obligations that they must follow. <coughs> Moving on um, to, of course, daughters' roles and obligations that we have to fulfill. There's, I think, so Ghar Maboyo, outside society Maboyo. I think the main thing that we have is there's a lot of pressure on females or daughters and rituals that we need to follow in a marriage. Yeah. Is there like is everybody aware of the rituals that we have in marriage and weddings? I mean, yeah. some kind of them are all okay. Like, like, is it a need to or, or is it a have to? See, so that's yeah, the that's question. Yeah. That is mm-hmm. a very good question. Like, I think we've been told this is culture, mm-hmm. and a lot of mm-hmm. people, mm-hmm. a lot of celebrities, that's like an well. answer for everything, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's yeah. Our have culture. said it's our culture. Yeah. But just, I just want to point out, just because it's our culture and our tradition doesn't make it right or ethical. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can follow it be my guest but doesn't mean it will not make you a righteous person it doesn't make you a really good person mm-hmm. it just makes you in my eyes a, sheep. a bit a sheep yeah. you know because you're conforming to society yeah. i mean if you want to be my guest but i would but if they want to follow it if they want to follow it what makes you say that they're wrong That's i'm not saying they're wrong okay I'd, I'd never said they're wrong i'm just saying like why you are just you don't not, agree with yeah, it i don't agree with it okay. because ask you know we have as women we've been finally been given the voice mm. use it ask questions why are we doing these things and yeah. then if you think like no actually I, I don't mind i'll keep following it then okay i think that's in terms of nepali culture yeah i think most people say our generation we get married tomorrow or whatever yeah we should ask but i think people go along with it because it's to please their parents yeah yeah you know they mm-hmm. want to look bad do they, they want to invite yeah. everyone here and there yeah. mm. but i think we just follow it because mm to please our parents and who doesn't want to see their parents yeah. happiness at the end yeah. of the day yeah. Yeah. I also think um, happy been, I'm a rubber happiness school I've been oh, that we're also ignorant mm-hmm. I feel like I don't know yeah. half mm-hmm. of the rituals of what why it was, yeah. what, what it symbolises half the time or, or what it happens because I don't I mean I've never have, haven't really thought that far into mm. marrying or getting a gay like but I've seen when I was looking at them I just kind of looked at them like when I was looking at them I just kind of looked at them like before I came to discuss all about this situation so it was like the dog medicine later a month ago. I just find it funny. It's just ritual. It's how funny. I just think I've never yeah. thought about it. So let, let's really let's talk about, about the rituals yeah, because there's a lot of them. Yeah. So of course, um, I mean, Priya, do you know any? So yeah. the daughter yeah. has to do. I daughter, daughter, the daughter has to do. Because we're on the daughter role. Or the I've, female. Ne- I've never been to <laughs> a <laughs> wedding to know what the daughter has to do. I've only been to my daigo okay. wedding and mm. like all the daigo weddings that do. So you were the men's yeah. side. Yeah. So I was always mm-hmm. on the men's side. So of course there's like the stereotypical ones there, right? like Mongol Sutta Launi. Yeah. Mm. And uh, Sindhu. Sindhu Launi. Mm. Actually, Sindhu is a very controversial one. Sindhu Kidle Launi, the Kidiko family lay in Nuno Pauni. What? I've never yeah, heard of that. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, the rule. It happens. Um, it's very, very, so it yeah. varies. It's it very, very much varies. You know, Nepal comes with different castes, different customs, and so on. And the Amra Limbo is very different to what a typical Nepali wedding can can be like. So yeah. I've seen a more more Limbo go baby hicks. But let, let, let's just say generally, Sindhu lau da kiri, afnu maiti elu le he nu pao de na. Because, oh. like you said, angalat se de. But that's the miracle. Ah. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, so like when my dad was getting married. Everyone doing So maybe yeah. maybe that's the change. Right? Very modern. That's also, I just remembered that's another one that we've not talked about earlier, which is like you know the Mongol Sutra Sindhu like the sea. The boy's family brings a set of clothes, clothes and jewelry, and, change, and then the girl right? completely changes like yeah. Yeah. head to toe, inside out to everything the guys bought. Yeah. yeah. What's that about? <laughs> so I, I think no air clothes gift they go. It's a good thing. Yeah. Is, is or it's there, ownership. Is, is, now you belong to this family. family. Yeah. Yeah. This is our belong. Belong. So of course these correct us if we're wrong, mm-hmm, but definitely. I think it's like from what we what our knowledge is, and that's how we're gonna interpret. Everybody can think interpret things differently mm-hmm. but the Hamro society is built on patriarchal so- mm-hmm. social norms I think that is the key thing yeah, where mm-hmm. is better so we really should question it again yeah. I mean I have a lot of problems all of them but Dogne is my biggest problem yeah okay they said signs of respect great mm-hmm. Why is it not on both sides? No, where's his respect? Marriage to me is a partnership. <laughs> it's a partnership. Mm-hmm. It's, it's 50-50. Yeah. So, Do it both ways. so 
What do we do? Mati la dok, tapi mimi malah dok. Oh, mero mero orang macam mana? Mari kita dok, jadi tim pun malah not. Oh, I mean di sana dok. I just, I just don't think it needs to be done. Yeah. I mean, I think a lot think of rituals. Doesn't no, I think it needs to be done. It why? is a sign of respect. Yeah. Respect. Like, why? How is it? As a, as tell me. From like prehistoric times, so that's what we've been doing in marriages. Okay, you know? okay. So in terms of that, respect for signs, don't apply that here. But so was it really? That. Was it really respect? Yeah, because you're like. But by lack of history, ma, ki tille monte ki tala gorti ho. Ote to ani oil jen dubey le gorti. Oh na, oh na. So two history, like what's only to justify gorti sources that that's a respect if only the girl is doing it. I, that's what mm. I want to know. The, How can you justify? Because Poland is in Kitaro used to protect the family and they were seen as like the warrior. Okay, so you're respecting Mama, the warrior of your family. You have to understand family. there was no like this sense of equality. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, so, I know. Before you're starting okay, to question it because this okay. yeah, whole like so, movement is coming along. Okay, so understanding that. Yeah, okay. Did, so that means indirectly the woman is still um, submissive yeah. to inferior to the men, right? We have to agree to that. If you Unless say, we make him bow down to us too. No, 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 no. But so I'm talking about history. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So okay. the kuta, what does the yeah. kuta symbolize? Mm. That so, okay, so the sign of respect. If we unpick that, mm, what daddy. really does the kuta symbolize? Even Bhagavan, right? Sai yeah. Baba, you pray the kuta. Yeah. Yeah. So why is it the kuta? I don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. trying to symbolize when you go down. Yeah. I guess Bhagavan, like, I'm not saying the, the wedding go. Mm. Uh, what I'm saying is symbolism, but the, 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 the being and your soul and everything, because your head is mm-hmm. supposed to be really yeah. important. Yeah. 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 When, you go, when you put that down into the like, bottom of the bottom, like, you're considering them much higher than mm-hmm. you. Yeah. 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 That, yeah. That, that, that is yeah, yeah. a sign of respect, sign of, I don't know, your grade is still one because it basically yeah. any change in your society takes time and you're yeah. going against the current yeah. mm. but um, then are we ever going to get change if we're never going to uh, go against the current who's yeah, going to so I think right. so this is what the I mean. generation we're in right now for our kids going forward we're, we're able to change certain mm. things right mm. but I think with our parents it's a bit difficult yeah. Yeah, yeah. because first of all we never questioned it yeah. we grew up yeah. like that mm. for them it's normal everything's normal yeah. but then we can take it now and be like, okay, we're going to apply this change mm-hmm. as opposed to carry it on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but if you're going to like be like Gunzani, at your wedding, if you say like, okay, you're going to get some funny look. Yeah. yeah. And oh, if, well. you say, <laughs> if you say like Gunzani, people are going to expect that, you know? And I know I'm like, going to be like, like happy no, no. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think people even know. I don't know, middle generation was like, and I'm Baba generation, I'm like, I'm a Baba, I'm so confused. I've been to a handful amount of weddings, and every single ritual is different. Yeah. 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 If you're aware of this, and I'm like, I'm like, whoever is watching, watching this video as a female, or even as a male, or I'm a Baba, whoever is you're watching, I'm like, it's the Quran. Get it totally like Nikali, you could have got the noise to work on and listen, listen to them soon. You know, I know, yeah, you know, Bonnie go to like you were off to the bottom and soon, eh, course is gone. Uh, Afno, Bari on your walaoki, Afno, Joy on your oki, and ah, gay kids at Kinako, mind my kids, a soon respect on a kicking and last one, this is Mateo, you know, yeah, I think it, it's the, the, the stereotype, the cultural obligation that daughters have to uphold in the marriage is mm-hmm. it does it's mm-hmm. it does it's such a big thing mm-hmm. it's such right. a social thing that i mean by that i mean by that i'm going to like you said mm-hmm. like more god you know and everybody's going to give that that look mm-hmm. but like you said if you want to flow again against the current then you've got oh, to yeah. be brave enough, i'm more than yeah, yeah, i'm sure. more exactly. than okay with like and, funny yeah. looks because i don't give a shit about what yeah, you yeah i think, think um, in nepali culture when you're marrying you're not just marrying with you and your yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. you're marrying the, the family, whole family. Yeah. Yeah. the extended family yeah, yeah the, the whole extended family <laughs> yeah. but that's what people i think is missing in this I, yeah. no, but I I agree. You are marrying the family, no? Yeah, you are. Sort of marriage stuff. Do that. Go on. Oh, I was gonna say. So obviously, right now, I tell you guys. You know, I'm gonna make him <laughs> dogging me. No, 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 no. Because I said that. You know, that uh, when it comes to the point, you know, if his if the in-laws are difficult with it, or if my parents are difficult with it, or or auntie Aru, then mm-hmm. maybe I would have a rethink. Because mm-hmm. of the pressure. Yeah. Think, okay, so what I want to say, whoever is watching this video, and it's only an exercise to me to out to you, I'm like, your, I mean, your issues are about my dog, or about my, 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 especially one of my close friends, she had an issue with Konya Dan, 
So like how um isko baba le konya dan dine bhaneko konya dan ko kiti konya konya kiti dan bhaneko donation um this oh, is what yeah oh, so the dad has to go through konya dan when they married she didn't believe in that mm-hmm. she was from a two daughter family and she does not believe i'm not a donation to their family i don't mm-hmm. want to do that bhaneko yeah. yeah important things like that hunza you need to look at that agadi dikhine ani discuss it ani baba le pani bhane ma gardina ek anna jan bhanera usko baba le pani garena and but there was an issue there was a huge issue mm-hmm. with that family were very traditional yeah absolutely but you need to stand your ground in what yeah. you believe if that's yeah. important to because you. i think it, it's not just about us care yeah. mm-hmm. like i come from a family where it's all daughters and um so the the husband or side of the family is expecting it and me conforming to that I'm looking at my parents face. My parents did not raise a girl no. who want who yeah. wants me to put my head on the floor. Mm. My dad and mom always taught me to any put your head up high, be yeah. that be that mm. strong woman and be I'm out there is where my mom and dad go and any like it's that is actually on the line. I'm like eh unza lo is it forget mom and dad I I rather listen to his. Are you really going to? No. You got to think of both sides of the down and start questioning mm. like yeah. you said why? What does exactly. it actually mean? Yeah. Exactly. And if you don't believe in what it stands for mm. then you say no i'm not going to do yeah. it mm. deal or, with it or challenge it please just challenge it that's challenge all i ask please challenge it, yeah. please yeah. Challenge it. You have to educate yeah. the parents Depends. yeah there was one more point yeah about taking um women taking husband's surname oh, oh yeah okay uh, i right. think that's like more accepted now right you ha- you still nepali or they take it without question isn't it yeah. Yeah. i don't want it you know what well. <laughs> i don't want it i, want I have yeah. lived I with my know. identity you know, that's listen why. i have lived with my identity <laughs> let's see if i get my 30 for 30 years yeah. right you know i'm a limbo that is me for 30 years and a man comes into my family <laughs> and i'm going to change that who do you think you, you are, are. <laughs> So to sum it up, I think I mean does anybody want to sum it up? So the <laughs> statement was ne- uh, Nepali daughter has stereotypical culture obligation that they must follow. Yes, definitely. Um I think all of us kind of agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Um lots of different points obviously if you've watched the video you'll see. Um mm. but we all are, are aware um and there's lots of education um that we need to do and it starts from dialogue. Yeah. I think for Absolutely. me it's just like don't conform. You know, yeah. ask questions and then if you want to make your inform inf- make an informed decision, yeah. you know, um and go ahead with it. There's an expectation as to they have to do it, mm-hmm. not they need to do it. Yeah. You don't need to do anything you don't want to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. good conversation yeah. ladies i yeah. think you know i think there's so much more yeah. like, there's so much more forever and i'm sure we're going to get a lot of boys that want to say their views so you know <laughs> oh, <yeah>. come <laughs> below it's welcome it's <laughs> welcome come we'd below we'd like you everyone yeah. has their views everyone have their I mean, own i mean i i want to yeah. know if guys have ever thought about the marriage as mm. much as 